Here we are in Orlando, Florida at Epcot. Yep, today is the Food and Wine Festival 2017. We're gonna see what's been here before, what's new. We're gonna try everything. When you walk in, you can get your food and wine passport. It gives you all the countries and it, when you do the country, it gives you stickers. I brought our regular passports. Do we need these? Uh, no, baby, we don't need those. But just in case, let's go check it out. Food and wine, Epcot. Got our favorite uh, seared scallops. Uh, they're from the uh, what's it called? The, the coastal eats. Coastal eats. Yep. Gonna try not to get the same things, but these are worth it. We got these last year, and they were so good. Yep. So and I promise, other stuff will be new. All right, I'm going in for the scallop. We might see more. What we want. Very good. Perfectly seared, cooked. Get these big old hyma beans, whatever kind of these they are. Loads of corn. We'll see how the other ones stack up, but so far, this one's gonna be hard to beat. All right, here's one of the new ones for this year. Flavors from the fire. Check out that menu. Here it is. Okay, here at Flavors of Fire, the new one. We got the smoked corned beef, which is crispy potatoes, which is like potato chips, pickled onions, blonde ale, beer fondue. Are you reading a menu? Yep. Um, and grana cheese. That looks awesome with the corned beef. And we got some beer. Yep. And the, it is called the, uh, I forgot the name of it, some but kind of it's, dark a, beer. it's a porter. It's a porter beer. Ooh, let's try it. Yeah. Try it out. Yeah. Here we go. It's a perfect bite with the cheese and some of that, oops, smoked corn beef. Mm, very good. Very good? Not too um, uh, spicy or hot? Not at all. This is the black water porter. Oh, excellent. It's a very good porter. All right, let me close up here. Oh, yeah. Islands of the Caribbean. We got the, uh, Jamaican beef patty. Jamaican beef beef patty, patty with a mango salsa. Yeah, and there you go. Good? A little spicy? Not spicy. Just curry. What? A taste of Hawaii and Florida? We gotta check this out. Alright, from Hawaii, we got the uh, teriyaki glazed spam hash. Look at that. They still have those sliders from last year and the kataki from last year, so this is something new. Yeah. So we're gonna try this one out. It looks ono kind. It try is. It. Here, my baby gets the first bite. Good. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Where's uh, Gohan at? It's a right rice. rice. And this is one serving. Look at this. This is one serving. This is four bucks. Tell, me, tell me if I need some rice. Mm. <laughs> it needs rice. Yeah, but it is all no though. A little bit cocoa on the side. Yep, yep. Not bad for Florida grub. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're within the World Showcase. Yes, now there's supposed to be a little places we're looking in the World Showcase where you can get little bites and things like that. So when we come by them, if it's not the same as last year, then we'll definitely show you what it is. Right, uh, we just passed Mexico and we're near Norway right now. And that's yeah. the same kind of fair right now. Same thing so far. But it's definitely fun walking through. Yeah. Kind of pavilion. This is their specials. Kind of full on food, but I think we're gonna go for that kung fu punch. Kung fu punch going on. The master training bartender. Oh, you got two different ones? Yeah. Right. That looks happy. Good job. 
that. Thank you. Right next to the Chinese music for more authentic feel. How do you say cheers in the Chinese? This is the happy peach. Very peachy. Really? Very good. Oh, tastes fine. Oh, that's good. Her, that one's a little bit too high octane. That's good. No. This, this one's good. This one goes down like silk. Never mind. <laughs> I can't really tell from looking around, but it's uh, 91 degrees with 47% humidity. 47 only? No, it feels like 80. Here we are in Spain. Check out the menu. We got traditional Spanish paella. Might have to go for that one. That is getting it right now. Here we go with our uh, classic Spanish paella. Really good. Taste. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Shrimp is humongous. Here we are in one of our favorite lands, yep. or not lands, but uh, it's called uh, a Japan it's, Pavilion. It's not part of food and wine, but it's very refreshing. They have this all the time at the Japan Pavilion. It's called Kakigori, but it's just really shaved ice. Kakigori! But it's called Kakigori. Right here. Shave ice. Rainbow. chocolate so we're gonna try out the Belgian waffle with warm chocolate ganache. Right here it is up close the Belgian waffle with warm chocolate ganache whipped cream. Oh can't wait to dig into this one. Mmm mm, that's good. That's good chocolate. Very good waffle. Really hot, crispy, fluffy on the inside. Chocolate not too not too sweet. It's very good. Mmm. What do you think? It's a good waffle. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This comes in fruit, compote, and chocolate, but it's Belgium, we got chocolate. That's right. It's a winner. Scotland, we're gonna try this one out. We're gonna try the uh, fresh potato pancake. It's gonna look like this. Hello. Thank you. All right, here's a close-up of our Scottish pancake with salmon, sour cream, chives, and uh, potato. Potato, potato pancake. pancake. Oh, the good cold and hot is really good. Mm -hmm. Salmon is very good. Not bad. The sour cream is good. It's a good one. Here we're going to try out this place called the Almond Orchard. And I guess what they're going to be famous for here, we're going to try is the cauliflower risotto. Chicken, artichoke, spinach, parmesan cheese, and aged balsamic. Other stuff too, and uh, this is what it's gonna look like. All right, here it is up close. Cauliflower risotto. Mm. Kind of tastes um Italian a yeah. little bit. Probably with the Parmesan cheese. It's hot. It has cheese, balsamic vinegar. Mm. Little piece of chicken. You know, you, it'd be kind of hard to place that it's cauliflower if you didn't know what it was, right? Yeah. Good. This is one of the surprises here. Mm -hmm. Cla cauliflower risotto. Cauliflower risotto. And we're back at the chocolate studio. I don't like we walked by it earlier, but we want a dessert now. So we're going to go for the uh, liquid nitro chocolate almond truffle. Oh, 
Is it's it like good? Chocolate and this like. Cold. It's good though. Interesting. All right, wrapping things up here at the uh, Food and Wine Fest uh, here at Epcot. It was very good, very good. We only highlighted the newer areas. I think we had one place that we visited last year, mm -hmm. but we mostly highlighted the newer areas. There's like 200 options you can pick here of what to eat. So, right. and um, they're ready ranging between what four and six dollars, I think. Yeah, the most expensive was eight dollars. Yeah, and that was only roll. like a lobster roll, right, but that was yeah. the only one. Everything is between four to six bucks. I think we spent over a hundred bucks for everything, including the alcohol. Right. So right. it's totally worth it. You gotta come by and check it out. Yeah, my favorite. Um, I think we'd have to go to the spam hash. Yeah, I really like that. That was really good. We needed some like rice with that. Right. That of was course. Very good. But yeah, I like um, that. Let's see, but the Belgian waffle was really good with the chocolate. That yeah, was very good. For the good. dessert, that was it. And that the surprise that looked that tasted that. a lot better than what it looked was the cauliflower. Cauliflower, yeah. It looked right. like it looked like dessert, but it was very good. Yep. So yeah, all in all, a great time, great food. A little warm out here, but uh, hey. It was worth it. It's Florida, right? Come check it out. Yep. We'll catch you on the next one.